RazyMonkStaps.com with an iPad app video demo for Animals of Africa, a Montessori approach to geography. This interactive education app teaches both kids and adults about the animals of Africa in a very engaging way using four Montessori-styled activities. Getting into this education app, here's what it looks like when you open it up. Tap on the information center to start the first lesson. There's a film strip up top of five different animals. We're starting off with the lion. Now tap on the book above the word Africa in the center and you'll get text information and it'll be narrated for you by professional narrator. There's also animal facts on the right side as well as their vulnerability in this case for their conservation. You can tap on the lightning bolt in the top right to get all of the conservation definitions information and you can see just how endangered the lion is. Now I've got a new film strip. There are a variety of animals. You can use the red button in the top right to access other animals. Tap on the orange button anytime to hear the proper pronunciation for each animal. Let's take a listen to the narration now. Hippopotamuses live on land but spend most of the daytime in the water. Thompson's Gazelle. The narration we just heard was the description for the hippopotamus and the correct pronunciation for Thompson's Gazelle. We're going to go into lesson two, which is the habitat map, names, and shapes. As you can see, there's an animal name provided in the top center, and then the images for the animals are on the side, and you have to find the correct animal and drag it to where you believe the correct conservation area is for that animal. It's rather challenging, but it builds on lesson one, where kids learned all about the animals. And if they tap on the wrong animal, they can keep tapping until they find the correct one. Once the first set of animals is complete, you're going to be presented with a second set. Now tap on the arrow in the top left to go back home and it could erase your progress in your current working of the habitat map names and shapes. Now going into habitat map shapes only, it's the third lesson and here kids or adults are going to be placing the animals in the correct conservation area based on just the conservation area. It is a trial by error so kids can tap through or adults can to find the correct location. Again, this has a second set of animals to place in the conservation area. Now the animal map is one of my favorite areas. It allows kids to interact with touch to drag the animals into the correct area. Again, it's also the correct conservation area and it's a lot of good memory buildup from the first lesson. This is the fourth lesson. That is Animals of Africa, a Montessori approach to geography. Let's go into the information. Here you can find the instructions for all of the different activities. You can visit the developer's website and check them out on their social channels. This is just the first of many the developer, Mobile Montessori, will be offering for geography. You can download this app in iTunes or in the link in the description below. Until next time, Crazy Mike from Crazy Mike's app saying, see ya.